What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm going to be breaking down a Shopify store that makes $15,000 in profit every single month. I'm going to be showing you the products they're selling. I'm going to be showing you the Shopify store setup, and I will of course be showing you the Facebook ad creatives they're using as well. So the site is called fusebrands.com if you guys want to go and check them out. They've been in business for four years and their average monthly profit is $15,674. The way they generate that business then, so Facebook has generated over $800,000 in revenue for them and over $160,000 in profits in the past 12 months. So this is a current and active business and the product you're about to see is working right now. The business sells a variety of health, beauty and household items. What's really interesting about this product and this business you'll see in a second when we take a look at their store is it's kind of like a general store. They haven't really kind of double down on the one singular product that's generating all this success for them. So they're selling lots of different products from lots of different niches online via a Shopify website and orders are fulfilled via a broker. And what this broker does, before we go any further, just 20 seconds of your time, I'll be super, super quick. I just wanna make you aware of a free training that is available to everyone. If you are a beginner looking for a step-by-step -step roadmap to follow, to find a product, find a supplier, and launch your business and get your very first customers in the next 21 days, this is the training for you. I know that is a very bold claim, but we have had hundreds of people go through this training and achieve that very same thing. It's 100% free. It won't cost you a single penny. All I ask for is your email address. And that is so I can send you this. This is also 100% free. Everybody who watches the training gets a free copy of my 194 profitable product ideas for 2023. So by watching this training, not only do you get the products to sell, but you also get the strategy to sell them. So if that sounds good to you and you want to start getting your very first sales in the next 21 days, make sure you check out the top link in the video description below. Cheers. Is it sees where the order is coming from and then the broker then places the order with the supplier to fulfill that order. For example, if you are a Shopify store and you're selling internationally across many different countries, then you're probably better off using a broker because a broker can send all of the US based orders to your US supplier that will ship them to the US customers or the UK orders to a UK supplier. And that way, no matter where somebody is shopping with you, you can offer faster and more reliable shipping. So one of the main selling points is that you'll get exclusive relationship with their supplier who handles everything related to fulfillment and shipping for you. Basically what this means is their supplier has access to their Shopify backend so they can go in freely every single day, um, export the orders and then fulfill them. There is a company I've worked with in the past called BS Dropshipping who work on this basis as well. Can't fault them. They're brilliant guys. Make sure you go and check them out if you want that same similar setup. 99% of the time they ship the products next day with a four day on average delivery to the UK, which is obviously mega, mega quick. 11 days to Australia and New Zealand and Canada, USA, seven to nine days. So the perfect setup because it allows you to take advantage and sell to those big four or five countries and still be able to offer quick delivery. Let's jump onto the Shopify store then. So I haven't shown you the product yet. I just want to show you so you get a feel for what the store is like. So it is kind of branded towards that kind of self-care um, hair care, that sort of thing. So back shavers, head shavers. However, looking at the brand name, so Fuse Brands and the logo, it doesn't really give off that kind of inclination, um, if you ask me. If you actually come down into the products as well, you can, you can see the products, the selling blades, shavers, that sort of thing. But then down here, they have this multi-purpose laser level measuring tape and this like pet Bluetooth GPS tracker. It just doesn't kind of make sense to me. I definitely think these guys would see the value um, in rebranding this and focusing purely and solely on their best selling product, which is this. It's the back and body shaver. The reason I know this is because Koala Inspector tells me so. We can see the best selling product is the back and body shaver. It's also, if we jump onto the Facebook ads library, the only product that they're currently advertising. So what is this product? Well, first of all, it's quite a cheap product. So it's definitely considered an impulse purchase for one single unit is 30 US dollars. It's basically a shaver on a stick so you can shave your back. I never knew there would be such a big demand for a product like this, but that obviously is given the level of success they have. 160 grand profit over the course of 12 months is not to be sniffed at. Let's scroll down their product page then so you can see the sort of thing that they're doing. I'll bring out my pen and point out some of my um, 
favorite things about it this is an old school shopify theme so this is a theme that's called shoptimized i used to use it myself however i've moved on since um, but it just goes to show it still works and if it works then there's no need to fix it so i'm a really big fan of having this sort of thing on a shopify store it really does a good job of condensing a lot of the kind of key and important points that a customer might need answers to without having to go looking for it without having to go scrolling down and reading through um, tons and tons of information if I have a look at their description, we can see this all looks like original content to me. I haven't seen any of this on AliExpress. So it looks like they've gone to the extent to actually take some original imagery, which really, really helps separate you from the competition. It looks like it actually comes in branded packaging too. That looks like their logo there. I cannot stress this enough. If you want to be successful in this game, you need to be selling a private labeled product and you must at the very minimum be using original content. You can test by all means, just for the sake of ease and being quick to kind of dip your toe in the water and see if it's going to work before investing in, in these things but the second you see any kind of level of success by doing these things you're going to increase your profitability significantly so imagery and gifts demonstrating how the product works custom packaging more original imagery and then down into what it looks like looks reviews or a reviews they're all pretty similar nowadays what we can see as well they actually show the flags so us us uk canada uk it's not flags from the eastern part of the world with broken English and one or two word answers that don't really make sense. These all look like legitimate reviews which are going to be beneficial for the business rather than detrimental. I cannot stress it enough. Make sure you proofread your reviews. If it's dodgy, broken English and doesn't make sense, it will be more off-putting than it will be on-putting for your consumers. So they're selling this product for 30 US dollars, a cheap product definitely considerable as an impulse purchase. Not many people would probably think twice um, about buying something that's $30. And if we actually jump on to AliExpress, we can see we can buy, I'm pretty sure the very same product for 257 plus 457, less than $10 delivered. If we actually get some of these, let's just get rid of this, get like a close up image. So you can see the kind of handle and the way it folds in half. It's basically the same thing as this. And then if we get a shot of the head there, and if we come up and get a shot of the head there, we can see exactly the same product. What's really good about this too is it kind of creates recurring customers because um, you could have and send them new blades every single month if they sign up on a subscription basis. There's a massive, massive company called Manscaped that work and operate with that same business model. So we've seen the numbers, we've seen the products, we've seen the Shopify store. Let's take a look at how they're generating that traffic and generating those sales. So let's open this up and take a look at the video. So lots and lots again of, hang on a second, that's a different product. It's got four blades on that one. So I'm not sure if this is original content or not, and I'm not sure that's even the same product. So that's 100% that's got four blades on. And this has just got two. So they're actually using an ad that is featuring a different product and they're still able to get that same level of success. So whilst I do not recommend doing that, either way, it still proves the point of how in demand this product is and the fact that it's working right now. Again, I think these guys would benefit. They're making it enough money now to invest in some original content and buy probably 50 of these things and send them out to different people to film some content for them and send in some reviews and even send them to some well-known kind of like self-care blogs or magazines, that sort of thing to get featured in different places. So there we have it. We've seen the numbers, we've seen the product, we've seen the Shopify store, we've seen the fact that they're advertising a different product essentially, and they're still able to do some very, very decent numbers. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Hopefully it sparked some inspiration and motivation to get out there and start building your own businesses right away. If you want some help doing that, make sure you check out that free training in the top link in the video description below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.